Thank you for joining us. I'm Ann Allred. Mike has the night off. What really happened between St. Louis County's interim health director and a fired up county council crowd the night he tried to talk about a new mask mandate? That's the subject of an internal investigation that so far has been kept out of public view. As our Casey Nolan reports tonight, some members of the council said the public deserves to know what's in that investigation. Casey and for a lot of the health directors, critics and for some of the council members, this investigation is about more than the back and forth of that one night. They see this as an issue of credibility for a man with a lot of power during this pandemic. I was subjected to a stream of vile racist personal abuse. I was physically jostled shoulder checked. That's what Dr. Faisal Khan told five on your side the day after the meeting in question back in July. He certainly was interrupted at times by the crowd while he tried to update the council on COVID and a new mask mandate. But video from our camera, a security camera and police officer testimony did not back up his claims of any physical altercation. The security camera did seem to show Dr. Khan giving people the middle finger and he apologized for that. But he also stood by his other claims and County Executive Sam Page's office said it would investigate. Now, Councilman Tim Fitch wants the public to see what that investigation has found. Page's office says it is a personnel matter and they will not release it. So Fitch is asking the council to vote on it. You know, if the investigation showed that Mr. Khan's claims of racist comments and assault were true, you could be 100% certain the report would have been released. Intelligent people can surmise that the investigation failed to support Khan's claims. One of Fitch's usual allies on the council, Ernie Trakis, says he's worried about the council overreaching with its authority here, but he wants to see the investigation too. He says the findings could be a factor in whether Dr. Khan is confirmed beyond his interim role as health director. Councilman Fitch believes there is legal precedent for the county to release an internal investigation. He points to the World Series ticket scalping scandal with the city police department several years ago. In that case, the ACLU sued to see internal reports and one Fitch believes the same rules should apply to Dr. Khan. But tonight he decided to give his fellow council members some time to reach it, research it for themselves. Plans to bring this up again next week at next week's meeting. Tonight, I reached out to the county executive's office for any update, and we have yet to hear back, Ann. Casey, thank you.